Hey, digital decorators. I've got some, some new releases recently from Luxita that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, they're, they've been very responsive to, to customer feedback. And there's a couple of things that uh, myself and, and other users have been asking for. And so they've made some, some recent releases in response to that feedback. Uh, one of the, the main ones I think is going to be game changing is now the ability to adjust your images to fit the perspective. So you'll probably know, remember from other videos that, you know, if I'm shining the projector directly onto my house, just looking at it straight on, then I can put images, backgrounds, facades, I can put all the effects on there and it'll be on, on one plane and the perspective will be correct. But if I put my projector off to an angle like it is for this snapshot, and if I were to drag a background onto to the house, then it doesn't necessarily have the right angle and the right perspective. Uh, the image is on a, a flat two-dimensional angle, but all my walls are angled away. And so that was that was kind of a challenge to make it to make it look real and to have the illusion that it's not just something you're projecting on the house, but it's that it's the house itself. And so there, there were some ways that I was kind of compensating for that. Uh, use another software. But one of the cool features that they just added is now not only can you adjust in two dimensions these uh, these images and videos, but you can also click here on to skew them and can now adjust for perspective, which is going to be really cool, really game changing. Um, so let me I'm going to throw that on my garage here real quick to show how it works. So if I throw that guy into the garage, then I can drag this down and get the perspective to match up. Might take a little playing around with it to get it to work right, but, but now we can do three dimension skewing and, and perspective mapping, which is really cool. Um, the one caveat with it though is now that you're doing three dimension, and this is the same in After Effects too, uh, once you start doing things in the three dimensional plane instead of two dimension, then uh, it takes a lot more processing and rendering time. So the, the more you end up skewing and adjusting the perspective on these, then it's going to take a longer time to, to render. So keep that in mind. But super excited about that because that's a cool feature. Um, the other feature that I haven't got to try out yet is to be able to use the simple Luxedo software, but use it on any projector you want. So initially it was all just one system, all encompassed in, in one package. You get the projector, you get the software, and, and that's great. I, I, but I also I have like 15 projectors, I think now. And for some of the projects, I've got a bunch of little small projectors that I might wanna do small projection mapping effects. And so that doesn't, I don't want to add a whole nother expensive, nice projector for that. But at the same time, I really like the Luxio software for cranking out quick and simple effects. So that's what that's where this is going to be neat is that I can use any projector I want to using Luxio's cloud-based software. To, to make that possible, though, because there's some hurdles to that that you have to kind of work through. Um, so to, to make that possible, you are going to have to have a camera. You know, the, the Luxedo projector has a camera built in so it can do the calibration and it can take a snapshot for you to put into the software to, to use. And so if you're using a different projector, you'll have to get some camera like a webcam or something like that, that's going to have the, the right angle that the projector is going to have. And then um, since this is cloud-based software, you have to have something that's attached to the internet that can play the, the project. Um, so you can use like a uh, what's the, the not the Chromecast? Um, drawing a blank of what it's called, but you have to have some kind of a device that can connect to the internet, connect to the to the cloud software in order to to play the project. Um, so it's not going to be quite as simple as just running it off a USB, like with uh, if you can export an MP4 or something like that. But this will still give me some more flexibility so that I can leverage what I like about Luxio and uh, be able to use other projectors for it. So stay tuned to, to Luxedo's website and uh, anything new that comes out, I'll, I'll try to do a video on it too. And things are going to start ramping up now as we're getting close to Halloween. Once we pass that July 4th mark, new products coming out in the stores, 
new features getting released. Atmos Effects has some really cool stuff coming out, it looks like. So, so get ready for an awesome 2021 Halloween.